Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan Coe and I'm here to tell you a little bit about my latest novel which is called Bourneville. I suppose this is the latest in a series of novels I've written that address the theme of national identity. To be more specific, British national identity or to be even more specific, English national identity. Like many people, I increasingly see the vote for Brexit in 2016 as a kind of wake-up call, a sign that on both sides of the political divide, we need to re-examine our assumptions about what kind of country Britain is and where it sees its place in the world. In this novel, I try to do that by telling the story of a woman called Mary Lamb, who's born in the 1930s and dies during the first COVID lockdown in 2020. She's a character very closely based on my own mother, Janet, who died just as I was beginning to write the book. My mother was born in Bourneville, the famously leafy and attractive suburb of Birmingham that was built by the Cadbury family to house the workers at their chocolate factory. My grandfather worked at this factory, as did a lot of my aunts and cousins, so Cadbury's chocolate was very much the taste of my childhood. One narrative strand in my novel tells the story of how for almost 30 years, Cadbury's products couldn't be sold in the European Union because several of the other European countries wouldn't recognize them as being true chocolate. A kind of comic morality tale about Britain's always fractious relationship with the EU. Most of the book though takes a more general look at the theme of our national identity. Mary has children who in turn have their own children and over the years, since 1945, these family groups gather around their radios and their TV sets to witness a series of public events. The coronation of Elizabeth II, the World Cup final of 1966, the funeral of Princess Diana, and so on. The real theme of the novel is social change, how our attitudes towards race and sexuality have evolved over the last 75 years and how our sense of ourselves as a country has changed during that time. The message of the book, a hopeful one I like to think, is that although positive change can't be enforced or imposed directly from above, it will take place anyway of its own accord, slowly and organically. This is the message I like to take from my mother's life and which I've tried to embody in Bourneville. Whether you're persuaded by it or not, I hope that the novel entertains you along the way and moves you sometimes as well. So, enjoy.